Hi everyone, this is Dr. Barbara von Mettenheim and I'm here today to talk to you about self-image. Now, you will never perform better than your own self-image and you will never perform beyond what you currently know. So your current self-image is based on what you currently know and what you currently know about yourself. So if you are unsure or you don't like your self-image, you feel there's things that you don't like about yourself, the best way to do that, to improve that, is to begin to decide what you want to look like. What does your self what do you want your self-image to be? How do you want to feel about yourself? So the one thing that I'm recommending to you is that you begin to write a story about who you want to be, what you want to look like, how you want to dress, how, where you want to live, how you want to carry yourself, and how you want people to perceive you. Now, you might say this is kind of being phony. Well, it's only phony until you actually become that person. So in the beginning, you're going to feel like, God, I'm just being a poser. I'm just a poser or I'm X, you know, whatever you're going to say about yourself. But you can put the phrase in front of it, won't it be great when I am? And then you put the rest of the statement in there. So you write out a scenario of who you are as a person and you can look at other people that you admire and capture the qualities that you admire in them. If you admire them, it's because you want them for yourself. And if you're jealous of anyone, jealousy is really about desperately wanting something for yourself, inside of yourself. Now, I don't know about being jealous of a man or, you know, having having the the a girlfriend that you want or a boyfriend that you want. That's, that's a whole different thing. But I'm talking about if someone has a characteristic that you admire, you can bring that into yourself and make it something, make it a part of yourself. So the subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between a real event and an imagined event. So the best way to help you shift your persona and your image of yourself is by telling your subconscious a story about who you are. Now, the, the phrase, I am, you know, it says in the Bible, God said, I am that I am. If God specifically called out that phrase, we perhaps ought to listen to it. I am is a very powerful phrase. What you put after it defines who you are. So if you make, if you make a statement, I am an idiot, that's a really terrible thing to say to your subconscious because your subconscious goes, okay, you want to be an idiot, and it gives you lots of opportunities to demonstrate that. But if you tell your subconscious, I am a powerful leader, I am a force for good, I am an elegant dresser, I am professional, all of the things that you want to see in your life, you put them after that I am statement and you repeat them over and over again and make sure it's something really great because it's going to come to you. So write it down, repeat it every day, several times a day, go through your whole list of the things you want to be and look for every opportunity to become that person in your life because your subconscious mind is going to start serving you up opportunities to live into that new person that you want to become. So good luck with it. Have fun. Become the person you really can respect and admire so that you can begin to grow beyond where you are right now and have everything in your life that you want.